Hello and welcome to episode three of J and J's journal. Yo. This is the episode where we're gonna put some real miles on. Yeah, so after I got up at Go Station, took a little walk around the campsite, uh, around the grounds, and then right behind our site there was a little valley. So I hiked down our side of the ravine. Uh, there was found an old shed back there, or an old trapper's house. I don't know what it was, but uh, at the very bottom there's a little little creek burbling through, a lot of trees in the valley. It's actually a really, really nice little walk. Jamie slept through it. Well, I might have slept through that part, but I was definitely awake for the most important part of the day, which was Samaneska Wolf Dog Sanctuary. It was an amazing place to be. It was just down the road from our campsite. Um, this place just provides safe haven to orphaned and abandoned wolf dogs. It was a really amazing place. Beautiful scenery, a nice walk, and of course, a bunch of wolf puppies. Not real puppies, but little wolf dogs. We took a million photos and I would have liked to stay the entire day, but we had to soon hit the road. Yeah, it would have been nice to stay there longer, or a lot longer, and jump a fence and play with a dire wolf, but uh, just wasn't to be. Uh, but we had to break camp and hit the road because we were planning on making Revelstoke, BC that day. Yeah, so we soon left the foothills and we headed into the Rockies. Um, just as we passed, passed Banff, the highway, Trans-Canada Highway, had a detour. We couldn't drive from Lake Louise to Golden. We had to drop down to Radium Hot Springs, um, which added another an hour and a half to our already long day. Yeah, it was a it was a really nice drive down there through the mountains, but certainly not ideal to add on all those extra clicks. But we we finally made it into Revelstoke area and and back into cell phone range. But that's how we discovered that all the campgrounds around Revelstoke were either not open yet for this season or already booked solid. So I was terrified we were going to have to book or make camp on the side of the road or in a parking lot or some turn off somewhere. Um, but. Just outside Sycamuse, after a lot of searching, we found a place called Family Tree RV Park. Um, they were great. They uh, they had room for us right away. So, Yes, we got there a little later because Sycamuse is about an hour further down the road from Revelstoke, but uh, we did get there and just because it was a quick overnight and they didn't really have too many other campers there yet, they just let us uh, kind of stop in the middle of their, of their road on the grounds. We didn't have to unhook the truck. It saved us a ton of time both that night and the next morning. So the next morning we did a quick walk around the RV park. It was a really nice place and we would have liked to stay a little bit longer, um, but we had to get an early start on the day. Hopefully we're going to stay there maybe on the way back. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, but yeah, we hit the road pretty early, made really good time to Kamloops. And then uh, turning south to Hope, holy man, it just seemed to be uphill all the way. We just kept climbing higher and higher and higher. More and more snow and ice, colder temperatures. We were like really going up through the, the high pass there. And then all of a sudden, just turned downhill. It's almost like I coasted for half an hour straight, just going all the way downhill, and went from you know 10 feet of snow on the side of the road and you know freezing temperature. By the time we got down to Hope, it was like no snow and about plus 12 or 13. It was actually a, a, a really cool driving experience. Jamie slept through it. Well, I see snow and freezing temperatures all the time in Saskatchewan, so fine. Since we got an early start to the day, uh, we made really good time and instead of stopping as planned in Abbotsford or Chilliwack, um, we ended up getting all the way to Burnaby and then we stayed at the Burnaby Caribou RV Park. Yeah, so this was a small campground right in the city. The sites were small. Everything was a tight squeeze. Like it was so tight, Jamie, Jamie directed me into a tree. You drove into a tree. I was only driving where you directed me. 50-50. Let's just... 50% you, 50% me. Just be done. Fair enough. So anyway, we got settled in. We got into our site once we once we got out of the tree. <laughs> and uh, then we went for a little walk. Right next to the park was uh, Burnaby Lake. Uh, they had a great trail system, really nice scenery. You can see downtown Vancouver in the background. Uh, a lot of ducks, a lot of animals around. Really, really nice little place. They were supposed to have turtles, but we, we didn't see any. We didn't see any turtles. So the next morning we got up bright and early to catch the ferry, which was super easy to handle compared to our- Nice and smooth. Yeah, compared to our trip between Wales and Ireland. Roller coaster. Very, very much so a roller coaster. Um, when we went up to deck, of course, it was very, very windy. We didn't see any whales, but uh, after we got off the ferry, we went right to our campsite. Um, yeah, got in, no problem. We're here at uh, Brandon Lake Campground. Um, 
So we're kind of caught up here. We're here in Nanaimo. Next episode, we're going to tell you something really funny that happened as soon as we got here. So stay tuned for that. And we're going to show you around the place and let you know what we've been up to since we've been here. See you then. I didn't sleep through the most important part, which was definitely the wolf dog sanctuary. <laughs> and what's the name of it? Okay, okay, okay. Don't, don't stop it. Okay. So, bleh, one second. But I slept, I bleh, 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 one more time. <laughs> which was Yamaneska okay. Sanctuary, where orphaned and, um, <laughs> orphaned or what? Abandoned supports orphaned and abandoned wolf dogs. <laughs> Why? Why can't I remember shit? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay. Uh, we did have to make tracks, so we uh, hit the road. Was I supposed to say something else? Uh, certainly not ideal to add on all those extra clicks. Um, damn it. So since we got an early start to our day, we... Stop there. Okay, I'm going again. Okay. Well, I see snow. Well, we made really good stuff. <laughs> Why? I hate all the city names. So, uh, right next to the uh, shit. Where am I going with this? I don't know. I wasn't reading ours. We're going to be late. That's where we're going. All right. Once we got out of the tree, we set up our little camp. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> going out of the tree just sounds funny. <laughs> and I. The storks you were realistic sorry i didn't want to throw you off completely <laughs> beautiful place called brandon lake brandon lake <laughs> and not, here we are not breaded lake <laughs> brandon lake we are filming our scenes for episode three or all of our talking pros of being a guy I get to hold it until we're back to the campsite. How about one of the classics? It's been a long, long drive since we left from Saskatchewan. It's been a long, long drive. And now we're here at the ocean. And now we're the crew to get past Sycamus. And now we feel all right. All right! <laughs> The end is what sells it. <laughs>